All right, in this video, we're going to add some game menu screens. We're going to add a start screen, you win screen, and a you lose screen. So let's go up to our levels bar here. Click on the plus a couple of times. So we've got level one, level two, level three. And we're going to go over to our levels sidebar here. And I'm going to move level two here. I'm going to drag it up to the top. And click on the cog the properties for level two and i'm going to rename this level to start screen and the world size here the level size i'm going to make 960 by 540 so it'll shrink down a bit you can see that's a lot smaller now now level one is now my second level so it goes start screen level one and then Level three, I'm going to make this one, if I click on the properties for that, it's going to be you win. And I'll make that 960 by 540. And I'm going to add a final level, level four, which will be game over. Game over. Also 960. By 540 okay very good start screen level one you win and game over now how are we gonna build these well so I want my start screen to look like a proper start screen in the game I might zoom out a little so I can see the full screen I'm gonna go to my media sidebar and see there's really not too much in the way of assets I could use except for maybe some of these interface assets what I want is a button a start button I might shrink that down a bit turn it into a start button and I'm gonna use some text as well um, let me change the background color of my start level if I go to levels start screen click on that cog icon and change the background color here let's try um, this kind of a dark color looks pretty good then I'm going to use the text tool here to draw um, uh, to just type out my epic RPG and I'll give it a font color yellow looks pretty good make it nice and large and let's try a different font maybe I'll make it bold as well okay nice and then I want to have some text on my button as well and this will say play and I might make that a little bigger make that bold and let's try a different font all right play cool and uh, I might decorate the title with some torches. Okay, so that's a little start screen there. Just a little test to see what that looks like. Um, let's play the game now with our start screen as the very first level. Let's see how this works out. So if I click play. and it looks pretty nice but if i click the play button nothing happens so we need to program this play button okay let's right click on this hold button here we're going to add a script to it and we want it to say when it's pressed on go to the next level pretty basic script so we'll go to events and grab when the player presses myself so when I'm clicked on and then from control flow we want go to next level and that will send us to our playable level so let's click play and we'll save this as start button and now when I click play it takes me into the game and I can play it very good Now, how about our game over screen? If I close this script and I want to be looking at 
the final level here. I want this to be my game over screen, so I'm gonna what could I use? What could I use? I'll change the background color of the game over screen. Maybe I'll make that a dark, kind of a red color. And we want to have something that lets us know game over. And let's center that nicely and we'll put a button in there as well game over and this say play again okay and then we want to program this button on the game over screen to take us back to the beginning so again it's going to be that event block when the player presses myself and then again from control flow we want go to next level but this one's going to say go to first level when the player presses myself go to first level let's close that and save it and we'll call this replay button cool that's for our game over screen so we've got our start screen, game over screen. Uh, we also need a you win screen. And that's going to be our level three. So you win. I'm going to make give this a nice happy background. Put some text in here. Congratulations. Let's make it a bit bigger. Congratulations. Let's make that text field a little wider. Maybe I'll shrink the text a little. Congratulations. And again, we will put in a replay button. Play again. And let's program this button as well. Actually, we don't need to give a new script for this. We can go to our code sidebar and find our replay button script and put it on this one as well. They're going to do the same thing. So start screen, playable game, you win, and game over. Now, how are we going to get to the you win and the game over screen? Well, when we play our game and the player dies, we should go to the game over screen. So we can die in a couple of ways. One, we touch these spikes. So let's deal with that first. We'll edit the spike script. Instead of the saying go to first level, let's make this say go to last level. Last level, that's how you lose screen. 
close that and save that. So that's for the spikes. Now, what if we are in battle? Let's have a look at our player script and find the part where we lose health, which is in here when I receive NPC attack. If health is less than or equal to zero, we're going to the current level. We're just restarting. Let's send them to the last level. Okay, let's play that now. Try that. Play that, and we get in a fight, and we lose some health. Game over. Play again. Okay, that's how the menu screens work. I'll just make sure the spikes work as well. Very good. Okay, in the next video, we'll talk about getting the U-Win screen hooked up.